students here we are going to discuss force force if we talk about the force a picture or a word comes into us into our mind that is simply push or pull either you are pushing or you are pulling and what you are doing when you are pushing or when you are pulling you are changing the state state of an object now what is the state that we have already studied a state are of two types one is rest and another one is motion so an object we can define this in terms of the force the force is a physical agency which changes the state of an object of an object the object may come to rest if it is in motion or an object may come to motion if it is in rest so simply pushing or pulling which gives us that we are changing the state of an object it is in rest if you are uh, cycling you are using the pedal then you are changing its state from rest to motion and when you are applying a brake it is coming to rest again you are applying a force and when you are riding on the cycle you are just pushing or just the pedal you are applying a force so we can simply define this the physical agency which changes the state of an object it may come to rest or it may come to motion depending on the object depending upon the state of rest second thing means it is clear that a force changes the state of an object second thing force also changes the shape of an object shape of an object simple example that we can take if you are having a ball a tennis ball which you are using for playing cricket if you are putting some force on that what happens or if you are throwing it with force it changes its shape which is a slight one so force also changes the shape of an object okay now if we go with the force and its unit that we will discuss later on also here a sign unit of force as newton there is a cgs unit also unit of force that is dyne and the fps unit is also there which is not used but we must know fps unit of force that is potter this is the si unit of the force okay so in simply we can understand we can understand the force of an object a uh, uh, force which is applied on an object what is going to be happen it is going to change the state of an object it may come to rest or it may come to motion now another thing 
then force is applied definitely is changing the state so motion is there motion what is motion if we go through the motion then there will be change in the velocity or change in the speed velocity or speed of an object the speed of an the velocity of of an object changes after applying the force okay and the direction is also changed direction the direction of the motion of an object object also changes so simply these are the points which we must keep in mind while we take the force force also changes the shape of an object the velocity or speed of an object changes that is the change in the motion is there the direction of the motion of an object is also changes and force is also a vector point force is also a what a quantity means magnitude as well as direction if you are applying a force in this direction the dam in this direction in this direction okay so magnitude whatever magnitude you are applying this will be in the direction and the displacement may be taken place in this direction also okay so direction as well as magnitude is there so force is also a vector quantity okay 